What's good? What's good? We just been running around this morning. We had to go to the dealership, the Subaru dealership, to go get Jesse's car because we dropped it off to get some recalled stuff fixed and whatnot, which is extremely important to do, especially since we're scoring the Subi here stateside while we go to Japan. We're gonna obviously keep the cars. And um, on that list, that checklist, they do require to have no recalls or anything like that on there. So, of course, we got that taken care of. Now we are at the gym. We had a rest day yesterday. Hopefully I have a better climb day. I don't know, we'll see. Are we bouldering today or top roping? I don't know. I almost kind of want to top row. Let's go. in the food. Jesse has a craving for sushi. We gotta have his sushi, so we gonna go get something to eat for lunch. Do you remember the other vlog? Like I was saying how it was super hot. It was like 80 degrees. Dude, it's freaking cold now. <laughs> San Diego cannot make up. It's fine. It's so cold. Yes, for reusable straws. So convenient, and I love that it comes in a little case like this. Nothing's gonna get in there, and you can just roll it up and slap it on your purse or on your I got sensitive teeth, that's <laughs> a bit ago. I was able to give him all the paper that needed to be shredded. Thankfully, I have that done for the most part. It's so funny. I just started watching just like super throwback vlogs of the kids when they were younger. I got Amaya and Kim coming here and watch and we were, we've just been watching a couple and then we stumbled upon this vlog. This vlog is in Arkansas. It was like in 2016 and um, we ended up bouldering. It's pretty rad that you know, we're, we watch these vlogs from, you know, three, four years ago, and then seeing that we've obviously taken up rock climbing as a hobby for sure now. Back then we wanted to, but the gym's closer to us in Little Rock. They wouldn't let kids under five climb, which was a really big issue, obviously, because both my kids at the time were under five. So, um, I don't know, you guys gotta take a look at this. I'm just gonna show you a couple clips. It's just so, it's just so cool that I vlogged stuff like this back in the day and now we're, we still doing it. <laughs> there, pull up, pull up. That's that one, that's that one. Keep going, mommy's got Good job. That's so awesome. Oh my gosh, she was so little and it's so funny because she obviously watched some of these vlogs right now and her baby voice is really the cutest thing and she's like, I cannot believe I sound like that. And I was like, I know, it was so cute. <laughs> I need to get off YouTube. <laughs> and uh, get back to sorting out and doing stuff. I need to go ahead and sort out the medicine cabinets and probably the bathroom cabinets and figure out what's in those. But more importantly, I do need to go through the hallway cabinet, the cabinets that have like, I don't know, our towels and just like shampoos and stuff like that. I know there's a bunch of garbage in those things that probably need to go, so I have to do that today. That's my goal. Eventually, I'm going to get to my clothes. I know I need to get to those because Oh crap, the kids close to you. I need to go through their closet. That was 
that was definitely a priority. I'm gonna see how much I can do today and just kind of wing it. Just trying to do as much as I can and just trying not to stress myself out too bad. Even though it's kind of inevitable that I'm going to stress myself out because seriously, who is not stressed? when you're not in the middle of a move. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna happen, but I'm not trying to get carried away and just like go into freak out mode because yeah, not doing that. Um, Jesse got more confirmation with the movers. He said that the HHG shipment, the people that are coming to get all of our stuff is going to come in a couple weeks. Later on, at the end of that same week, express shipment, they are gonna come and grab the rest of our stuff, the express goods, the stuff that will get there about, I wanna say, a week after us. It's all like the necessities, towels, blankets, kitchen stuff, you know, pots, pans, utensils, you know, things that we kind of need to survive like ASAP as soon as we get there. Um, we've already started to make a list of all the things that we're going to put into that shipment. Things are rolling, guys, and I just feel like, I still feel like we're not moving. I don't know, maybe when I see the house empty, I'm like, okay, I think we're moving now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start with this cabinet first. Oh my goodness, that's a good stretch. I'm gonna show you guys what's in here, and seriously, it's a mess, so don't judge me, okay guys? We literally just throw stuff in here and close these drawers like no one's gonna look, because literally no one is gonna look except you guys now. <laughs> Here's what we got going on stuff everywhere okay and it goes kind of deep in so i'm gonna just have to pull everything out figure out what we're keeping what has to go first i need my stool because you know short people problems these have actually been great to kind of like organize things like i put like a bunch of first aid stuff in this one and then in this one i had a bunch of like cough medicine so like the medicine cabinets in our bathrooms weren't like completely full of stuff like this you just kind of have to maximize your space when you're living in an apartment i found those worked for the most part i mean i actually used them but then like towards the like last year or so i've just kind of been shoving just everything up in here and now this is why it, we've created this this monster right here going through all of these little bins that was in that little closet and just throwing away like expired medicine and all of that I was like let me just go through the bathrooms real quick with all the medicine and all of this literally who needs 18 million of these little things like watch me get rid of them and then be like wow I need these now <laughs> just quickly just go through this and just toss what I need to toss and put all the medicine in one little area just so it's not scattered throughout. <laughs> While I'm in their bathroom, I know that there's not a lot under the sink. This is what we got going on here. A lot of this is going in the trash. I don't think bringing developer is a good idea. <laughs> So much stuff. I cleared out this thing as much as I could right now. I'm gonna put all the medicine back into the gray bin right now and then put it back in the closet. I got rid of so much expired medicine. It is not even funny. Like, I didn't even realize we had that much expired medicine. I was like, what is all of this? Well, it looks empty now. 
Um, I know it does, huh, babe? Uh -huh. It's like we're moving already. I know. And That's why I'm getting that, ready to get rid of all this. All of their stuff is supposed to be out from underneath the bed. They're just basically like car cases and then Amaya's stuff. I'm gonna sift through her stuff and make sure she's just not taking a bunch of trash with her. And Caden's cars, I'm just going to just make sure they're all closed up and then kind of just stuff it back under the bed. Just check under the bed and make sure that they did do what they were supposed to do. Cause, you know. Mm-hmm. That's it, so it's not that bad. Only a few toys. Amaya, are you getting rid of this? These cases right here are super old. They were actually Jesse's when he was a kid. And they all had like a bunch of like super old Hot Wheels in there. So it was pretty cool that Jesse's mom saved them and was able to hand them down to Caden. So now Caden plays with these. I am exhausted. I feel like I've gotten a good amount done today. I think I'm just gonna tackle my bedroom this weekend. The kids have been in bed a while now and I, I've pretty much crashed for the night. So I'm just going to get ready for bed and I will see you guys in the next vlog.